Welcome to Lubeck Nordic Film Days. I'm Wendy Mitchell. I'm one of the programmers here. And we're delighted to be talking to a few filmmakers at the festival. Uh, today we have with us Ragnhild Nosbergen from Norway. And she's got a beautiful documentary called Being Ola. Um, so Ragnhild, can you tell us in your own words what the film is about? First of all, thanks for having me. It's really good to be at the festival and here talking to you. Uh, Being Ola is a documentary about a guy called Ola, uh, who I met the first time nine years ago, actually. Uh, then I made a documentary from the village he's living in, in Norway. It's a small village out in the woods, uh, around uh, 150 people living there. And 50 of them have different types of intellectual disabilities. So they live uh, all together and the philosophy, it's a Rudolf Steiner philosophy at the village. Uh, so I met him, yeah, nine years ago, made a documentary from that place. And then I went back two years later because I felt like it's more here. <laughs> and then I started shooting a lot of, of Ula because he's a um, wise guy, he has an intellectual disability mm -hmm. and knows everything about his own situation. So he shares openly about how it is to be different. Mm. Uh, but mostly he's a guy that inspires me. Mm. So I've been following for many, many years. Yeah. yeah, and finally we're here. Yes, but you can really, when you watch the film, you can really see there's a trust mm -hmm. there with him, that he trusts you with his whole story. Um, and it's very, very moving, I think, and also quite inspiring, but not in a sort of cliched way. And I was just wondering how you thought about, I think a lot of times when we see films about a disabled character or a disabled real person, mm -hmm. Maybe it's supposed to be like a Hallmark card of inspiration. And and it feels like Ola is just allowed to be himself. You know, so can you talk about the sort of lens you wanted to show him with? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, most of all, he's just an ordinary guy. And uh, we are at the same age, him and I. So the things we talk about, we feel exactly the same. And uh, we are wondering how will life be? How will I live, work, family, friends? And I wanted that to come out in the movie as well, because like he's an ordinary guy, but but he is really wise, <laughs> and and is um, taking the chances. But I'm glad that you say it doesn't feel like a cliche, because yeah. I, I really wanted to follow him in everyday life and what is happening to him. It's not like the big uh, dramatic things. It's just life happening yeah. with some ups and some downs. Yeah. yeah. Um, and do you hope the film can have an impact? I mean, it's, it was so cool for me to see the, the non-disabled people who choose to live in this community. And I, got, I was just thinking, gosh, wouldn't the world be a better place mm -hmm. if all the, all the world could live a little bit more like this community? I mean, do you hope that it can spot, inspire other people to think about how their lives are or maybe how they're treating the disabled people in their community mm -hmm. yeah absolutely I mean that's something that really fascinated me about that place they are living and coexisting together and the people moving there without disabilities they are also making a choice of mm. living a bit different you know yeah. and it's not the solution for everything to do it that in that way but they also the way they live close to nature, in a slower pace. I mean, I hope that can come out and I think they are doing so much right. Mm. Uh, they have they have something that we are missing, like the uh, speed of in our life, mm. we are so ch -ch -ch -ch, always chasing. And then they are doing it, I mean, a bit more slower. slow. And of course the respect they have for each other mm. and that they are the philosophy is that I'm not taking care of you and then going home and living my life. We are living together. Mm. Mm -hmm. The bond he has with his friend that you go to visit is, is great too. Um, how would you say a film like this needs film festivals to get into the world, just in general? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it, it is a small film, you know? We, we are trying to reach out, trying to get through uh, the big film that like the fancy the big characters the celebrities mm. so it, that's hard but um i'm really glad we're here because yeah. uh, in norway we are out in the cinemas okay. traveling around and it's been a success there and Great. but to reach out outside of norway it's a job so the festivals is a really good place to 
start maybe yeah. we can have some more yeah. screenings in germany yeah. i hope so and how has your experience been in lubeck i've heard a lot of people in the audience have really loved the film and it, after you leave this interview you're going to another sold out screening mm -hmm. uh, what's it been like meeting the audience here in lubeck my first time here and what i really love is that people are watching the movies they are from people from lubeck is at the screenings and that's not happened in all festivals you know so i have a really good impression and it's been so nice watching a couple of other documentaries oh, as good. well you know you don't have time to watch everything you're planning you want to <laughs> yes. but but i've seen some great films and yeah it's been such a nice experience great mm -hmm. thank you ragenho for joining us and congratulations on being ola and good luck with the rest of the journey of this mm -hmm. amazing film thank you so much Thanks.